Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So right now, I am just preparing myself for getting Serum Spells. I'm about to do the Light Within quest, but before I do that, I do have a few requirements I need to do. Obviously, because I'm nearly max now, there isn't any level requirements, thank god. But yeah, it's mainly just the other quests, so yeah, I'm gonna go and start working on those now, and I'll see you guys in a bit. And here we go guys, handing in the first quest. I just need to get back to Joral in this building here. And the quest guide I used, I do get a couple of questions on this, was from the Complete RS. So he actually does a walkthrough of it and does it at the same time as you. So, I don't know, it makes it a bit easier. LGV suggested him, so yeah, thank you very much. But talking to him and telling him what I discovered should pretty much get me the end of the quest. Yeah, there we go, one quest point a tome counting XP and three skills, and all that good stuff there. Also, the good thing about doing quests is all these treasure hunter keys. This guy has just said he's seen a brown bear in his neighbor's trash can. Do any of you guys have any of those issues? I know where I live, obviously we don't have anything like that, but do any of you guys have that? It's always interesting to hear your stories especially whilst I'm just questing my life away. So this is for the light within. These are all the quests that I thought I needed to do. Okay, so ignore this one here. Obviously, missing presumed death I do need, but look at all this list underneath, all of these. Now, I thought I needed those. And also at the bottom, there is Firemaker's Curse as well. Now, I thought I needed those, but then it turns out if you actually go onto, for example, this quest here, it says suggested requirements. So I've just spent ages writing all this up, which is good because I can use it in the future. And to be honest, when I'm maxed, I will probably go for the quest cape and just try and get them all done and get up to date on those, why not? But yeah, that's just kind of annoying. I just spent ages working that out. And then one of them says a suggested requirement is 270 quest points. I thought that was an actual requirement. So to be honest, this is a lot easier than I thought because there are no requirements at all for this quest. And then the other one is Fate of the Gods, which if we have a look, like I said, it is the missing presumed death, wherever it is. I don't know where it is. Fate of the Gods, here we go. And yeah, the suggested requirements, I wrote down all of these. And then obviously, individually, all these quests have requirements as well. So yes, in theory, I should have probably done all these quests a long time ago. But wow, I feel a really big sense of relief right now. All I have to do is that one quest, which I already can do. And to be honest, on this list, I have put next all the ones I can do. So it makes it a lot easier for me, like I said, especially for the future. So yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. Hopefully these don't take too long. I mean, I'm not going to get full rewards, but at least I can make thieving and hunter more efficient. Okay, we are pretty much done with this quest now. We are just at this final end scene where you have to keep running around, learning about Guthix's past and stuff like that. So yeah, that is pretty much it. It hasn't been too bad, to be honest. Like I said earlier on, I was using the complete RS for a guide. And again, it's been really, really good because it's more of a walkthrough than a guide. So yeah, I like it because he actually takes you through all the different parts and he does it the same speed as you. So you don't even have to pause the video. It's really, really good. So do recommend him, like I said before, if you are looking for a quest guide, which is actually good because you get some out there that are really bad. But yeah, his are actually really, really decent and... I do appreciate him making them, because could you imagine talking through all of these quests? This is the part where Guthix dies. Either way, guys, there we go. We have now finished this quest, and we actually got all those lamps, which I didn't think I was going to get, actually. I'm really surprised about that. Two treasure hunter keys, of course. That is lovely. I like having those. But yeah, we did unlock a lot there and got a lot of rewards, so I'm happy of that. Okay, so for the first lamp, I did put it towards thieving. The next one, of course, is going to go towards hunter and so on and so forth for all the skills I have left until max. But yeah, there we go. That has been a long time coming doing that quest, but we have finally finished that now. Okay, and there we go. Missing presumed death has been completed. Again, two quest points and a bunch of XP lamps, which to be honest would have been more useful when I was at the lower levels, but I'm not going to complain about it. So yeah, now we only have two quests left until we can get the Seren spells, which is of course the light within. But before I do that, I need to go and do the fate of the gods. So let's go ahead and get some XP from these. Yes, I do. 500 XP. This is great. 1k agility XP and a combat lamp. Wow. 1.5k towards magic. What a treat. 
I really like the graphics on all these quests I've done so far, like especially this one, the detailing is awesome, like even just all the rocks, the particles, it just looks awesome and it makes it feel just so much cooler. Right now I'm about to go into the big fight I guess you could say, I've just killed the four monsters just now, so yeah I'm hoping this is enough food, I also got these memorium crystals so I can get the override but I don't even know what that'll look like but we'll find out soon. Well, you guys have been asking for some PVM, so I guess here we go. I will record some of this. I honestly have no idea whether or not it's just glitched or you're supposed to have this much uh, prayer points because I haven't drunk anything or anything like that and it's not going down. So I don't know if it's because I've let Zaros in that I have unlimited or not. I'm not too sure, but either way, it is definitely helping me out. I saw a lot of people bashing this part of the quest because apparently... Even like max people find it really really difficult with like a full pack pack of food and then a full invent as well. But to be honest it really hasn't been that bad. I mean I'm 4% left to go and in before I just die. But I mean I only had like half a yak and half an invent and to be honest I, I don't find it that difficult unless they've changed it. Yeah there we go. We have completed that part. A nice little bit of divination training on the side here. Very very nice. And there we go guys, we have now finished that quest. Fate of the Gods, two quest points, 125k magic XP, 100k divination. How close are we now in divination? Because I might be able to get that today. I'm not supposed to get 98 till tomorrow. 339. If I trained it with that bonus XP, I could get that today. So that is a potential in this video. I'm not too sure right now. I wanted to get it in this video anyway, but it just depends how soon. And now we can move on to the final one. The light within, let's begin. <laughs> So just doing some AFK skilling right now whilst I'm editing the previous episode. So this has actually come in handy. I wasn't expecting to do this at all in this quest. I had no idea it was coming. So quite a nice surprise. I can of course go and kill them, which I have done the first fight which you are forced into. But I just feel like I want to edit the video. This is my safer way. I don't have that much food. So it's just an easier option for me. But look how pretty it is. All the particles and I just find it so cool. I think it looks wicked. And here we go guys, the completion of the light within. And with that we get two quest points, which puts us on 200 now, which is like, I guess is pretty cool. Um, we got 90k agility XP, 90k crafting, herb lore, prayer, slayer, wood cutting, and divination XP. Which means, how much XP do we have now? 267. I will get that tomorrow morning, very nice indeed. We also got access to Seren spells and prayers, which is of course the main reason I did this. Let's go ahead, rub all these lamps here. Oh wait, we didn't even have the 90k off. Okay, we'll get that still tomorrow morning, but I guess on the first cache of the day, which will be a great way to start the day. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead, use all these. Don't you just love it when you unlock Seren spells to start training and this happens? Why on earth don't Dragon Rider boots buy through for 5.2 mil? When, if we have a look how much they actually are, it's like 3 mil. Why are they not buying through? Like, why is it so overpriced? I mean, I've only got 7.8 mil in my invent, and if that doesn't buy it, I'm gonna cry. Because I need this. Oh my days. We are now officially ready to begin thieving. So, I've got some of the pouches on me. I've obviously got all my runes and the lava staff as well. And I also have a bunch of the abyssal stealth scrolls now honestly i don't know how many of them i'll use i just brought a bunch of them just in case but yeah i only brought a couple of pouches because cash is soon so if i need to bank i can do it straight after that massive thank you to lgv for running me through this whole method i do appreciate it and yeah let's just see how long a level takes really 1.1k every single time is what I'm getting. Just look at those XP drops. That is amazing. And of course, I do have bonus XP. But yeah, this is... It's just going so swiftly. I mean, we're already only 125k until 87. I haven't even been here for half an hour. This is incredible. Nice. If you have a look in my inventory, I actually got a Crystal Draskelion Fragment too, Which is pretty awesome. Like I said, I haven't been here very long, so that was quick. It's funny because you get stunned so much, it looks like you're not really getting that many successful drops, but you actually are. And with that, guys, we just got level 87 thieving. Honestly, I don't know how long it's taken me, but I presume the scrolls last around a minute each, so that's around 35 minutes. 
Alright, nice, so here we go guys, there is level 88. Now I did have to start another pouch, but that was just because I went and did cash a second ago, so it ran out, which was unfortunate, but either way, it doesn't really matter, I'm not missing out on that cash. And it's getting kind of late as well, I spent most of the day questing, so I only have a few hours left to actually do cash for today, so yeah, one more to go. And it's actually pretty cool because with that one cash I have left, I'm going to only be 35k away from the level. I'm going to try not to talk so much when I'm clicking and doing this, but there we go guys, level 89, and I've just done three straight levels without stopping. I mean, I took a break to the Grand Exchange, so right now I'm basically just going to use up the rest of my familiar. I'm just stopping clicking for now because I can only imagine how annoying that would be to hear in the background, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead, finish off the time I have left on my familiar, and then I'm just going to go and grind out to 98 div because... Like I said earlier on, I'm not going to have that much XP, and all I have is 34k, so it isn't going to take long. I have bonus XP, so I'm just going to do it, get 98 today, and then 99 will come a little bit sooner. So the items I've collected so far from the daily box locations are these four here, and in total, they add up to around 800k, I think, right now. I need to go and do that today. I think my cat is scratching at my door right now. Um, so yeah, I need to go and do that. But also, I have these ones here from the Dwarf Traders today. Now, they're only worth around 250k, so nothing crazy, but I'm going to keep them until I'm 99, and just see how much I make when I get the level. Alright guys, so any second now, I'm going to get myself 98 Divination. There it is. Level 98. That is awesome. Well, alright guys, we are now finally about to get level 91. My hands literally are killing me right now. If I can walk away from doing thieving this way without having a nervous twitch in my hand, I'm going to be very impressed. But yeah, there we go guys. Level 91, which means we have now unlocked the... Is it the Iworth Elves? I think it's the Iworth one. So boosting will get me to 95 now, as you just saw. So yes, many more possibilities. Obviously, the XP isn't going to be as good, but my hand needs a break. One thing I have considered doing is getting myself the five finger discount aura. I think I have enough loyalty points, so I might go and do that. I know the legendary one gives you like 15% extra chance of being successful. So I'll have a look and try and get those. And if I can upgrade it, I will do that as much as possible. Okay, so the highest one I could get right now with the points I have was the Supreme, which is still the tier 4, so it's decent, and if you have a look on the examine settings, it gives me a success chance of 10% extra, so that's not too bad. Okay, so I have a daily challenge today for 70 of the Dwarf Traders, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now to finish off this level. We currently only have 91.8k until 92, which I'm hoping with the XP from the reward and thieving them, I should be able to get that, hopefully. But also, we managed to get this Prifdinian Musician's Robe Top, which apparently is rare. I just looked it up, and it's a rare reward from pickpocketing the workers, so that's pretty cool. And I also got my third Triskelion Fragment as well. So, if we have a look in the bank, this tab here has kind of turned into all my thieving items as well. But yeah, there we go, we now have our second Crystal Triskelion, which is pretty cool. Alright, and there we go. That is that challenge completed. Let's go ahead and see if this reward is actually going to get me the level because we still have 52.9k. Come on, please be something decent. Will it get me the level? 70.2k. Hell yes, there we go. Let's continue through. And there we go, guys. Level 92 thieving halfway to 99 but yeah that's cool we now have the ithel workers unlocked without having to boost although i will still boost anyway but yeah i think right now i'm just gonna switch to world 2 and grab myself 86 hunter from my divine locations and there we go guys level 86 hunter this is the final level now for this video i feel like it's been pretty successful thank you all very much for watching we've had some awesome gains got some rare items and overall it's been a bunch of fun like i said before training thieving which is something i don't normally do that often is actually quite refreshing to be honest so yeah i'm gonna try and work towards 99 if not hit 99 by the end of this weekend i think that'd be pretty awesome and also 99 div is coming on sunday so if you don't follow me on twitter so you can see when i'm getting the level just jump in the fc if you want to be there when i get the cape or when i get the level i know a couple of you 
you guys did want to be there so it'll be awesome to see some of you guys when I get that because it's an awesome cape and I am definitely looking forward to it but yeah after that it's just runecrafting and hunter hunter I'm obviously going to do crystallized grenwalls and runecrafting would be quite nice just to afk out and rune span to max cape I may end up running some runes towards the end but I'm not too sure right now like always keep up the awesome support and I'll see you in the next one